Hey YouTube, it is uh, late September 2017, and uh, these are my Spyderco militaries. Uh, let's jump right in. First up is the CPM S30V versions. I have two of those. Uh, one with the uh, Digicam and the blacked out blade. That is a $175 knife. Then I have the titanium handled version. Good centering. Well, actually, not really. Might have to adjust that. Um, these are great knives. Uh, great size. If you have big hands, uh, these are great. You have basically three positions. Standard, you know, you're choked up a little bit, and then you're you can you can get up on the blade a little bit. Um, it's a big knife, and it's a uh, tip down only, which kind of sucks. That's my one knock on this knife. Um, I don't know why they can't make it tip down, or excuse me, tip up. Um, I pretty much just carry these in my back pocket uh, when I do carry them. Um, let's move on to the uh, that's a two hundred forty dollar knife. Now the sprint runs, I have the CPM S10, uh, S10V in purple. That's a $175 knife. Good action on this one, I carry this one occasionally. Uh, next up is the uh, CTS 204P in uh, green. This is the uh, Knifeworks exclusive, this was uh, $200. Uh, this is uh, this is the one I carry the most. Uh, it's nice. It's uh, much more lightweight than the uh, titanium, and just uh, it's a great steel. Uh, next up is the uh, CPM M4 in the uh, natural handles, the jade. Uh, this is a hundred dollar, hundred ninety dollar knife. Uh, sprint run. Again, great knife. Uh, and the last one is the CPM S90V. This is about $200. This is $190. The blue's gorgeous. Another great blade still. So, those are my militaries. Uh, like, subscribe. Thanks, YouTube.